guys, so today we're going to be doing a division practice test. So, how many questions do we have again? We have 30 questions. We have 30 questions and we have to try to complete them in 10 minutes or less. If we don't complete all of them in 10 minutes, then we lose. If we do it in 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes, we win. If we do it um, under 10 minutes, that would be great. So, here we go. Okay, I'm going to start the timer, okay? Okay. Okay, starting now. Okay, six divided okay. by three. Six divided by three. Hmm. So we need six. Okay, so, so six divided by three, you need six. And then another three. And then you have, so it's kind of like sharing. So you divide six into two groups. I mean three groups, so that would be two in each group. And then you would give it um, each one each three things you have two so then your answer is how much num is how much things you've got in that group so the answer is two okay because we have two things in the group no two divided by two okay two divided by two that's a bit that's easy because you're just giving two two so that's two. Oh, is that okay. Again. okay um so if you have two of something two. how many times can you divide that two Zero? One. Oh, one. I mean, so it's one. Okay, okay, sorry, it's one. Twelve divided by two. Twelve. Okay, so we need twelve. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So remember, it's, so you have twelve in total. You divide it into two groups, and how many are in each group, right? Okay, so twelve, and then, so we have to divide twelve up equally, so there would be six in each group. That's right. Okay, 14 divided by 2. Okay, so you just have to add an extra 2. And let's see, how do we divide 14? So we have 6 in each group. Okay, so there's 6 in each group. So that would be 7. Perfect. Because there's 7 in each group, okay? okay. So division is basically... Um, Maybe you say that at the end after your challenge. 4 divided by okay. 2. 4... Um, Four divided by two. So you don't really, so it's. So four divided into two groups, how many are in each group? There's two. Perfect. Eight divided by two. Eight divided by two. Um, let's see. Um, so we need eight, of course. It's always really important. If you're doing eight divided by two, you must have eight in one group. And then if you're dividing it by two, you have to have four in each group. So what does that equal? Four. Fifteen divided by three. Fifteen divided by three is a bit tricky because, so let's just get eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so fifteen divided by three? Yes. Okay. So, so what you can always do is, okay, so this is 15, and then yes. you just start going like this, right? Okay, I got it. Okay, so how you would do this is you take three of your things and just keep adding one to the group until you run out and then count how much are in each group, okay? We have six minutes, six and a half minutes left. But we have an oddy. We have an oddball. An oddball. Two, four, five, two. Two, four. Oh, never mind. We don't have an oddball. Okay. That so was a misunderstanding. Um, five in each group would equal five. Okay, twelve divided by four. Twelve. So all we are doing is taking away. So we're just taking away three, basically. Perfect. And then what is it again? 12 divided by 4. Okay, 12 divided by 4. So what you want to do is the same thing as 15. You want to take 4 and then just keep adding 1 to the group. That's a very easy way to do it. Yep, okay, so. so your answer is 3. Perfect. Because if there's 4 in each group, I mean, there's 4 groups, and then there's 3 in each group, it equals how much are in each group. So that would equal three. Okay, now seven divided by seven. Seven. So seven groups of? Twelve. 
Seven groups of seven. How many will you have? Seven groups of seven. You would have one. Yes. How about this one? This one's easy. One divided by one. That would be one. So if you're dividing something or multiplying someone, dump something, something, um, to, um, if you're multiplying or dividing something, um, with the same number, it will equal the same number. So two divided by two would equal two. No, one, sweetie. Oh, I mean, um, one divided by one would equal one. Okay, three divided by three is one. Three divided by three. So again, you would need three. And then divide by three. Well, you're just dividing it by three over again, so that would just be three. No. Mm -hmm. So you have three groups. How many are in each group? One. Perfect. Five divided by five. Okay. That would equal one. Perfect. Because if you have just five alone, if you divide it or multiply it by the same number, that always, 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 always equals one. Five times five will not be one. Well, okay. only for six division. Divided by, six divided by six. Is um, one. That's one. Because Perfect. as I said earlier, if you divide something by the same number, it's, it's going to be one. Perfect. Now, how about this easy question? Seven divided by one. Seven. Okay. So. So if you have... So seven that would just you put be, it into one group. So that many? would just be seven. So Perfect. if you're dividing or okay, multiplying you're out something of time here. by seven, then it would just be seven. Six divided by one. Okay, that is six. Perfect. Okay. Next easy one. How about just do them all. And how about ten divided by five? Ten divided by five. Hmm. Huh. Five. And then we need. Okay, that's two. Perfect. Now, uh, 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4. That would equal four. Perfect. Um, nine divided by three. Nine divided by